trigonometry from a point 100 meter above a lake the angle of elevation of a stationary helicopter is 30 degree and the angle of depression of reflection of the helicopter in the lake is 60 degree find the height of the helicopter above the lake so we have to find the height of a helicopter which is placed at a certain distance from the lake okay that is if the helicopter is stationary that is it is not moving and stationarily it is placed in a position and we have to find what is the height of the helicopter above the lake so for to proceed this we have to draw a figure at first for that consider let a b be our point that is 100 meter above the lake that is AB is a point 100 meter above the lake and from this point we are observing the helicopter and which is placed at a point C and what is given the angle of elevation of this helicopter is 30 degree okay so first we have to draw that angle okay that is at from the point A we are observing C at the at an angle of elevation 30 degree. And next what is given that angle of depression of reflection of the helicopter in the lake is 60 degree. That is there is a reflection of the helicopter that is a D and its angle is 60 degree. That is, we are from a point A, we are observing the helicopter at D at a depression of angle 60 degree. Then, what we have to find? We have to find the height of the helicopter above the lake. So, we are going to name it as H. That is, we have to find the H in order to proceed further. We got our figure here and now we are going to proceed further. Before that, at first note what all points we have that is AB, a point 100 meter above the lake, C, the position of helicopter at elevation 30 degree, D, the position of reflection at depression 60 degree and CF, that is our required quantity. To be find out now we are going to use an important step here that is cf equal to ft equal to h meter why ft equal to h meter it is because because the height of the object above the ground level is equal to its reflection on the lake okay so we will get CF equal to FT equal to H meter. This we can study in our physics classes. And now, so for doing our calculation and first consider triangle AEC and tan 30 equal to CE by AE that is opposite side by adjacent side which is equal to CE by X that is we are giving a value to AAE that is X now by providing the value of tan 30 we will get 1 by root 3 equal to CE by X and in next step we are for multiplying that is X equal, equal to CE root 3 Okay, from the previous step we have x equal to c e root 3 and we have to find the height of the helicopter that the h in this equation. 
So in order to find h, we have to find an equation which involving the variable h in the first step and in the next step we have to solve that equation and find the height of the helicopter. Okay, so to find an equation involving h, at first consider triangle AED. In the triangle AED, tan 60 degree equal to opposite side by adjacent side that is ED by AE which is equal to ED by X that is AE is given as X here. So here we are we have to find an equation involving H. So what we are going to do is to split this ED in terms of H that is ED equal to EF plus FT and FT is our H. So we will get an equation involving H here. Okay. So in the next step we are providing the value of tan 60 that is root 3 and ED is split as EF plus FT. What is EF here is 100 meter. Why EF is 100 is because since it is a rectangle AB equal to EF equal to 100. Now FT is given as its value H. So we got an equation which involves the variable H. Now in the next step we have to solve this equation and to find the value of H that is the height of the helicopter. So in the next step we are going to simplify this equation that by cross multiplying and we will get F equal to 100 plus H all divided by root 3 that is by cross multiplying we will get this and we got two equations involving x here and now by comparing values of a we will get that is x equal to c root 3 and x equal to 100 plus h by root 3 since these are two values of x we can write this as C E root 3 equal to 100 plus H by root 3. Okay. Now again simplifying by cross multiplying we will get 3 C E equal to 100 plus H. So we got an equation that is 3 C E equal to 100 plus H. But our aim is to solve H. For that we are rewriting C E as in terms of h. Then how we can rewrite c e in terms of h? So c here what is c e? That is c f in the whole c f if we delete e f we will get c e. That is in this whole c f that is f we delete e f that is 100 we will get C that is H minus 100 will give us C E. So C E is written as 3 into H minus 100 equal to 100 plus H. Now by multiplying 3 H minus 3 into 100, 300 equal to 100 plus H. Now in the next step we will take H to one side and the variables to another. Then we will get 3h minus h equals 2h and minus 300 plus 100 will give 400. Now, which implies h equal to 400 by 2 equal to 200. Therefore, the height of the helicopter is 200 meters.